Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is March 20th, and right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see that we've got some clouds headed our way, and this week's system's forming off the coastline here. Our ridge is now moving off to the east. Probably another warm day here east of the mountains. Some nice sunshine still out there. You can see some particular clouds starting to kick off across some of the Oregon Cascades. But we're going to be active here over the next week or so as we continue to bring rounds of precipitation back into the region. Nothing too crazy crazy right now, but we will be watching it because that can always change uh, pretty quick. So we'll dive into those details we get through the video here this morning. If you take a look, you can see the three sisters kicking off some lenticular clouds this morning near Bend, Oregon. You can see Mount Hood. Looks like it just started one and maybe Mount Rainier as well. You can also see the low clouds that kind of infiltrated all the way back into the valley areas up against the Cascades and coastal areas. And you can see our next storm system out here that is developing. And it'll spread some precipitation. We're not expecting anything too heavy out of this, but over the next few days we could start to get some mountain snow as we go through the weekend as well. Taking a look at that you can see the sisters are right here and there's bend oregon portland oregon there so this is spokane national weather service return of winter weather uh, again uh, coming up here and you can see some of the mountain snow expect for i-90 highway 2 highway 20 and this has some slick and snow covered roads winter driving conditions you guys know the drill just a heads up that we are definitely in for a change versus the much warmer weather that we had the last few days and you can see some portions of idaho and montana getting pretty downright chills like a cut bank you know some big temperature uh, drops coming up here as we go to sunday a.m through Tuesday a.m. and some gusty winds out there as well. Now taking a look at the, uh, this is for Billings, Montana here. They're kind of showing this a wide view of things. So you can see Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana here. The chillier air is going to stay mainly bottled up. We're not going to get much of this out into western Washington, Oregon. Or, you know, a little bit of this is going to come off of BC and interact with the troughing off the coastline here. For, for the most part, the, the coldest air is going to be across portions of Montana. So heads up if you're traveling eastbound there as you go on through portions of Montana out towards Helena and, and once you get out towards Billings here you're going to be getting some moisture mixing with that cold air. You could have some travel impacts with some snow. And if you want a nice, affordable home weather station, click on that link down below to save 10% off. Stores all the data for you in the cloud. Highly recommend that station. Now, looking at SeaTac yesterday, we were 9 degrees above average. Still quite a nice day. Pretty sunny much of the day and had a nice marine push last night as well. You might have felt that during the evening hours. That nice, brisk wind started kicking up there. And we're definitely going to drop these temperatures down here as we go over the next few days. The average high for this time of year is 55 degrees. The record high for this day set back in 2019 of 79. Now, taking a look at Quilly, Washington here. A little bit above average. But I wanted to point that out. That 80-degree day on March 6th. 16th is the earliest 80 degree temperature on the coastal areas out there. And if you look back in the past, a lot of the temperatures, the, I mean, even the record high for the 23rd is only 65. So pretty impressive record there that we did set. And if we take a look here, Spokane, 69 degrees yesterday, broke the old record high of 68. Uh, Wenatchee had 72 versus 68. And Euphreda also set its daily record high that were set back in 1999 with 72 and if we take a look at Pendleton, Oregon, they talk about 77 at Dallasport, 75 at Walla Walla, 80 at Pasco, broke the old record of 77, 76 at Ellensburg, and 80 at Hermiston, Oregon. What a nice, warm, you know, relatively speaking for March, it was a heat wave. If we look at the composite reflectivity, <clears throat> this is what the Doppler radar may look like over the next few days. So you can see some shower activity kind of rolling in here. Nothing too extremely heavy as we go through tonight into tomorrow. This could kick off a few thunderstorms as we go through the afternoon and evening tonight. See across some of eastern Oregon, across portions of Idaho, maybe clipping southwest Washington. And then we kind of have the showery weather ongoing here as we go on in through Thursday evening. Another batch of precipitation here across the region. We go on through the day Friday and additional rounds of precipitation incoming. Now, looking at that day one thunderstorm out, you can kind of see how it does include eastern Oregon, Idaho, and portions of southwest Montana, just clipping south uh, east Washington. If we take a look at the European on the left versus the GFS on the right, this is our ridge that brought the very warm weather here, and you can see that is now getting flattened out and moving off down to the east. 
from the southeast. You can see our troughing now developing here out over the Pacific Ocean here. It'll be including the Pacific Northwest for a while. And then we've got additional rounds of systems potentially as we go on into the early portion of next week. So we're going to be breaking down those systems here as we go day by day, of course, to see how that trends in the models. And really good model agreement, too, between the GFS and the European on the upcoming cool down and pattern. If we take a look at the European, this is, again, the wider view, Alaska, Washington, California is right there. And you can see the precipitation kind of rolling back in here. And then as we go on in through this weekend, continuing that showery pattern, get a little bit of a break there maybe on the day Sunday. We'll see how that goes. Then another system is going to be hot on its heels by the time we go on towards Monday. And you can see additional systems out here over the Pacific Ocean with their eyes on the Pacific Northwest. Looking at the daily two-meter max temperature for today, east of the Cascades, still quite a nice day. Some warm temperatures up into the 70s, but you definitely see the cool down. We're much closer to average here across much of the region. We'll have a valley dropping back down, Seattle back down towards its normal average high for this time of year. And then as we go through tomorrow, you can see the temperatures drop off a bit there for eastern Washington. Then we really start to cool down here as we go on in towards the weekend. As you can see, much of the area, you know, getting down towards maybe even a little bit below average as we go on in towards the end of March. Definitely not the big heat wave we have been having. Uh, taking a look at the snowpack, we are reducing it across some of the areas here. Uh, Oregon is doing much better and portions of the southern Idaho, but again, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, uh, Washington, not Wyoming, and British Columbia are well below average for this point. I mean, well below average. You know, some areas are 50, 60 percent. And here we are with the snow water, uh, snow water equivalent in the lower Yakima. We're about 59 percent of the median as of right now. So not doing too hot. Maybe these systems can, you know, help bump up these numbers here as we go through the next week or two. It is still March. We can still pile up the snowfall a little bit across some of the mountain areas. Here we go. Six to 10 day temperature outlook through March 29th. You can see the Pacific Northwest and a lot of the central portion of the country below average. Here's the 6 to 10 day kind of bullseye across the southwest but does include the pacific northwest here's the 8 to 14 day we go through april 2nd here and again below average signal for much of the west and i wanted to show this one as well precipitation departure from average this is the last year so this is why we still have some drought across some of the cascades washington oregon if you look at this there are some areas across the north cascades over the last year that are 20 inches or more below normal for that year period and there's some areas here between 15 and 20 in the red and the orange would be 10 to 15 the lighter orange 5 to 10 so you kind of get that uh, picture there that we are above uh, below average here for precipitation over the last year and this affects things like groundwater and soil moisture as well so that's why there is still some drought concerns out there and this goes up into British Columbia as well where they are the stage could possibly be set for another active fire season um, just to our uh, neighbors of the north of Washington here uh, but here is the drought monitor. You can see there is still some moderate drought across the Washington Cascades, Oregon Cascades, a little sliver there across the Olympic Mountains. But portions of the panhandle of Idaho and Wyoming, uh I got Wyoming on the brain today. Montana here, extreme drought and some severe drought is still present out there. So, you know, we're always crossing our fingers to try to see if we can redo some of that. You can see Nevada and California doing quite well also. But yeah, here we go. Starting to bring the clouds back in, dropping the temperatures back down. We've got several rounds of systems to go as we go on in through next week. We'll see if some of those, some of those are looking a little bit interesting as we go on in through the early portion of next week. We'll keep our eye on that a little bit too early early to starting to get the details about that, but we'll definitely be watching that and breaking it down day by day. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.